As part of a unique year-long experiment, five Australian Border Collie pups have been sent to five working dog trainers all across the country. But are all Border Collies alike? What would happen if you took one of these Australian Border Collies and tested her against a UK Collie instead? Stop. Could both pups go from cute little Collies to mighty mustering machines in just one year? Come in. Queensland in. Dog Trial Champ and Muster Dog participant Stephen Elliott, along with his longtime best mate, Kerry Prandellini, are going to find out. This Outback duo have been friends for years now and a healthy but somewhat competitive rivalry has emerged in their work around the property. We have a pretty sort of competitive relationship, I guess. Everything seems to be a competition with him and I. <laughs> Carrie, she's pretty tough and pretty, pretty strong-minded. Yeah, I'd probably be pretty safe to say she's a little bit erratic too, I guess. So they've set up a kind of side bet, running simultaneously with the core Muster Dog program. A friendly competition to determine which of them is the best trainer. You know, we can laugh and joke about it and I think it, it's going to be interesting, but there will be a little bit of competition there, yeah. Righto, let's go. Kerry isn't quite as experienced as Steve. I think Stephen said to me one day, I'd make a good dog trainer if I'd just calm down a bit. Backpack. Go and get a wheelchair. It'll work better for you. Stephen, stop. He's a shit stirrer. But she's a fast learner and she's been shadowing his Stop. training techniques Stop. for several years now. Stephen, I can hear you. <laughs> Kerry grew up on the land and has worked cattle and horses for most of her life. Stop. I worked on a lot of company places. We weren't allowed to have dogs back then, so I hadn't done a lot with dogs. And I've only just recently started, probably in the last year, I suppose, getting more into it and it's just led on from there, I guess. Steve's pup is a shy little blue and white female that he named Indigo. Indy for short. Ah, she's very sassy and I think that's why we took a little while over Can we? working things out, you know. She wanted to do it her way and I want to do it my way and, and it took a while to build a bond and we still haven't got it yet, 100%. Indy, come here, girl. Come here. She's got Indy, the ability and the drive, Good girl. but ah. also a lot of attitude. Ah. Come in here. When I asked her to do something, stuff you, Steve, I'm doing it my way. Kerry's been gifted a pup of her own, just a few weeks younger than Indy. I got this pup probably just a couple of weeks before Indy turned up. I've named him Bobby McGee, pup of my other dog that was sort of following on with the theme. I love music and so I yeah, named them all after song. Bobby McGee is a UK border collie a breed with a long history in Britain. These dogs are intelligent and hard-working, much like their Australian cousins. I love him, right from the start. Like, when he turned up, we, we had a good bond pretty, pretty quickly. I was very lucky, yeah. With bragging rights on the line, Kerry is going to train Bobby McGee alongside Steve and Indy throughout the entire 12-month experiment. She'll put him through the same milestone assessments that Indy will be subjected to at 5, 7, 10 and 12 months. Which of this pair of puppy preschoolers will come out on top? So, yeah, hopefully I can meet the same milestones as Indy, if not better. But, um, yeah, we can only try. It's Indy versus Bobby, mate versus mate. Let the battle begin. Stage one of the experiment is the five-month assessment. And in the lead-up to it, both Come Steve on, and go. Kerry have been facing their own challenges with the training. At the start, we had a personality class, I reckon. But we worked through it and, um, yeah, she's a pretty special little dog. Stop. For Kerry, the progress has been slower than she'd hoped. On the training of Bobby, I was getting a little bit disheartened because he wasn't showing a lot of interest in the sheep and wasn't really building his confidence up. But it's time for the five-month assessment. So ready or not, 
the competition has begun. Each assessment is made up of a series of challenges or tasks. So in order to progress to the next part of the experiment, they'll need to pass a majority of these. First on the checklist is the Bluetooth connection, uh, an invisible bond forming between dog and owner. The second task is dragging a three metre rope. It's no problem for Indian Bobby, but now they need to work their way through the other tasks on the checklist. Making sure the puppy is relaxed when held, remaining calm on a short lead, and walking calmly on a loose lead. The dogs now need to respond to their names. Bobby. So Kerry and Steve will have to get their pup's attention when distracted. Indy. Bobby. Indy. Which is easier said than done, given that these two are best buds. Bobby. And finally, the puppies also need to show some signs Come of in. their instinct on stock. Indy is straight on to them. But Bobby is a bit slower to engage the stock. Box. He has taken a little bit more to switch on to the stock. He's a little bit steadier than what I'm used to with the other dogs that I've trained, I guess. Indy has edged out Bobby in natural instinct, but despite their different bloodlines and the experience of their trainers, they are still very closely matched at this early stage. Indy's, she's obviously more advanced than him at the moment, so I need to get a little bit more consistent if I'm gonna keep up with old mate. As the pups approach the seven month mark, the festive season has come to Winton. Well, it's just been Christmas and we've We've uh, made a lot of good food and drank a lot of beer, I suppose. That's, that's probably the biggest achievement. Put on a couple of kilos. Christmas time is definitely a, like a, a fair bit busier and the heat changes a fair bit with the, the training side of things, I guess. With the competition between these best mates still in tight contention, they now need to demonstrate the milestones set in stage two the seven month assessment. The first task will be a test to see how well the bond between owner and dog has developed by walking off lead. The second task will test our puppy's agility. Jump from so far back. Now they need to hold stock in a corner with a fence on two sides. This is known as a quarter bubble. Bobby is giving it a red hot crack and even though the goats are a little wobbly, it's still a pass. But Steve has decided not to do the quarter bubble, concerned that it'll cause a tail turn in the dog. For the same reasons, Steve also refrains from doing the half bubble, where the stock are held along a fence line. Yeah, I just gotta be on my game and prevent things from going wrong so we can keep the foundations going on. And um, I think she'll turn out pretty good. However, Kerry and Bobby are happy to give it a try and get another green tick for their efforts. In you go. Stop there, stop. After abstaining from the quarter and half bubble, Steve and Indy take the stage to do the full bubble yeah. balance. Indy's presence on the sheep is so strong, it's pushing them closer towards Steve giving Indy the confidence to work the stock from a distance. This time, Steve gets the tick of approval. It's not a pass with distinction, but enough to get them through to the next stage. Bobby's up next, and he's putting in a brilliant performance, encircling the mob to keep them close to Kerry. There's a little too much pressure applied at times, but it's still a strong finish. Stop. With a perfect score for Kerry and Bobby in the seven month assessment, this contest is really starting to heat up. So yeah, I think Bobby went pretty well in the seven month assessment. He really sort of ups his A game a little bit when you're not really expecting it sometimes. Hey mate, Indy might have to watch out a little bit just quietly. Just a few short months later and it's time for the 10-month assessment. The skills to be demonstrated at this stage are much more technical. Indy. But Steve is feeling confident about Indy's chances. 
Yeah, I think she should smash it, I think, because, because we've put all the foundation in. She'll be a bit young and a bit silly still and without the experience. But um, that's right, I think she'll do that, no worries. Despite Bobby's stellar performance in the last assessment, Kerry knows that Indy is going to be a very tough opponent in this next stage. Indy's a bit of a machine, but I think Bobby will, will hopefully go, go all right with the next assessment. I am probably a bit nervous, but he should be okay. For the first challenge in the 10-month assessment, the pups need to show that they know their place in the pack. So for this task, they'll be mustering as part of a team. Oh, right up, Bob. Come on, let's go. Staying focused on the stock and not distracting their partners means it's a pass for both pups. The second task is to demonstrate restraint by not jumping onto a bike without a command. Bobby, hop in. Bob, hop in. Oh boy. Good job, team. Staying calm and resisting distractions, no matter how tempting they might be, is the next challenge for Indy and Bobby. You're not interested in you, mate. Keep on rolling. Task number four is executing a 30 metre cast. They both right, sprint Bob. out across the right field, out. coming round yeah. to the correct position right behind the mob. Right out. But while Indy waits patiently for the next command, Bobby McGee displays some bad habits when he reaches the stock, Stop. Stop. coming in too close and giving one of the Stop. wieners a little Stop. nip Stop. on the leg. I would prefer him to be off the stock a little bit more. He comes, comes in pretty close and to have him back further, back off them, will um, be something that we can work on. The last challenge of the 10-month assessment is the ability for the dog to bring the mob back to the handler. After such a strong performance in all the previous tasks, it's no surprise that Indy is effortless in her demonstration of bringing stock to Steve. It's a clean sweep for Indy with five passes. She's doing beautifully. Okay. But now it's Bobby's turn. Yeah. Working them from behind, the presence That'll of do. this little English collie alone is enough to get the mob moving back to Kerry. There, but unfortunately, he's once again applying a little too much pressure. Oh. Yeah. Given that he got the job done, oh. it's still a pass for Bobby but Kerry will need to get the biting under control before the all-important 12-month assessment. For the final stage of the experiment, Steve and Kerry are packing up their trailer and headed to central Queensland to meet up with the other Muster Dogs participants. But while Steve and the others battle it out to see which of their Australian Border Collies is crowned champion Muster Dog, the winner of the contest between Indy and Bobby is also going to be decided. Bobby McGee, well, he's going great, but yeah, it's always a bit nervous going into different stock and different yards. And after seeing the level of all the other dogs, yeah, I definitely think my heart rate went from a 65 to 125. Here in the small rural mining town of Clermont, Steve and Indy competed in three rounds of tasks. In the first challenge, they needed to lead a mob of goats Come through in, a set in. path of barrels, with the corridor becoming smaller after each successful run. Steve and Indy were eliminated on their second oh, attempt, spill, but in that's challenge spill. number two, they outperformed everyone Stop else, it. herding a mob of sheep onto a horse float in the fastest time. And in the third and final challenge, there were some hiccups in the cattle drive, but they still showed off some exceptional mustering skills. Yeah, there was boo-boos, but then she's patching it up really, really well. Now it's Kerry and Bobby's turn. For challenge number one, it's goats. Oh, the goats? I'm not sure Bob's even seen a goat, so that could confuse him a bit. Hopefully they just look like sheep. For this task, it's all about precision and control. Come, come. If even one of the goats slips outside, it's a fail. But if they have a clean run, they head around again, with the distance between the barrels narrowing each time. Go, Kerry. Yes, you can do this. Having oh, never worked him on goats before, Kerry is understandably nervous about Bobby's reaction to the stock. 
His distance on stock we probably could work on a little bit more. He's quite, he is quite a strong dog and trying to keep him back off them has been a bit of a challenge, but we'll see how he goes. Being a much larger dog than Indy, Bobby's firm presence is immediately felt by the goats. He's got the mob a little spooked and their skittishness almost results in a spill on the corner barrel. Stop. Oh, that was close. But even though Bobby's brash style and tendency to work very close to the stock makes for a few close calls, the results speak for themselves. For round two of the barrel challenge, the corridor has been made a bit narrower, making the margin for error even slimmer. Stop, stop. But Kerry and Bobby are tackling it head on. Ah, stop. stop. After a smooth run through the corridor, it looks like they're home free. Stop. Until Bobby's stop. desire to charge in gets the better of him, and a spill happens right stop. at the end of their run. <laughs> So, with both Steve and Kerry bowing out in the second round of the barrels, it's on to the next challenge. For challenge number two, the goal is to work a mob of sheep onto a horse float. The winning time, set by Steve and Indy, is going to be very tough to beat, having earlier completed this challenge in just two minutes and three seconds. Stop. They start swiftly, but almost immediately the sheep wedge themselves into a corner of the fence and put the brakes on. By carefully positioning Bobby, Kerry is able to dig them out. Good way out of trouble. But the delay costs them precious seconds. And the benchmark time is now approaching fast. Their progress is further complicated when Bobby once again applies too much pressure on the mob and scatters them across the yard. Stop. Demonstrating just how much she has learned over the past year, Kerry's able to recover quickly and makes up for the bumpy start Stop. with a fast Stop. finish at Stop. the gate. Stop. It takes longer than Steve at Indy's run, but the sheep are safely tucked away in the trailer, so that's a win Stop. for Kerry and Bobby McGee. Yeah! Good work. So compared to the other litter of pups, Bob, I feel he doesn't do work it. nice and wide do. like all, all, most of these do. sort of dogs Bob. did. He's got a lot to Bob work on do. with that. But yeah, we may, may not have done it as pretty some of the things, but I, he, I feel like we've done everything we had to, had to do and he did it, did it quite well. But there's still one challenge left to go. Right on, let him go! For this task, they'll need to gather up a mob of cattle out in the open and drive them along the road on balance. It's a big ask for any dog to do this on their own, much less a 12-month-old. Stop. Stop there. After 12 months of intense training and hard work, it's time for Kerry to show everyone just what this little UK border collie can do. Right back. And this time, Bobby is really putting on a show. He's quick to cover the mob and keeps them moving with constant but controlled pressure. She's got the gap good between her and the cattle. Bob, right back. Kerry and Bobby are on par with Indy, it's, uh, it's, it's quite incredible. I think they're attached, they've got a, a, a good click together and uh, he likes her and she likes him. You can see just the way Bobby travels, he's got sort of a brave, mean, don't fool with me go about him, which is probably ideal in a lot of situations. Good boy, stop Bob. Stop. It's a perfect run. Working both sides boy, of the mob, Kerry and Bobby shift the cattle into the gated paddock without so much as a single stray breaking away. Well done. Well done. Good job, Bobby. You did all right, Kerry, too. Not too bad, for one. Finishing very strong in the cattle muster, Kerry and Bobby have outperformed Steve and Indy in this final challenge. I think Kerry smashed it, I reckon. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard for me to say, but that's, I'm being fair and, and honest, so that's, that's what it is, I think, yeah. So after all that, do we have an overall winner in this rivalry between Steve and Kerry? Oh, Indy by a mile. No, no, that's, I'm joking with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still going to put my money on Indy. 
Bob wasn't far behind, but um, yeah, I think she might have beat him to the peg there, I think. But it was a close one. <laughs> Both teams bowed out early in the barrel run. However, Steve was way ahead in the horse float challenge. But with Kerry and Bobby having a stronger run than Steve and Indy in the cattle muster, it seems that we have a draw. Kerry, yes, she's done a great job with Bobby, and yeah, he's he's really excelling for a twelve month old pup. And Indy done a, done a great job, but yeah, well, they're, they're they're on a level playing field, I think. Extremely proud of Bobby. He did really well, and I'm pretty proud of Stephen and Indy too. They've done a remarkable job. Yeah, it's been a a pretty good competition. After 12 months of intense training, these two mates have both done their collies proud. Yeah, I think it was an ultimate test because all the dogs are really, are really excelling for their age, I, I, I believe. Their ability looks pretty equal to me. And I think if you watch the dogs, they all sort of got the similar personality to the handlers, I reckon. So then how would you describe Indy's personality? Yeah, she's really intelligent and brilliant. <laughs> nah. Yeah, actually, actually, she is a little bit different than me, but yeah, yeah.